These decorative little Christmas baskets are easy and fun to make and are a great way to recycle Christmas cards. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Max 12. Hello everyone. In order to make this basket, you're going to need some templates in order to cut out your pieces. I found this idea on a website. I'll provide a link in the description box. You can go there and print out your template. I printed it out on some cardstock so it would be a little bit easier to work with and a bit more sturdy. You'll need some Christmas cards to make this craft, of course. You'll need 14, two larger ones, and 12 smaller ones. These are Christmas cards that I've received from different friends and family over the years. And you can use all different cards if you'd like. It might be better if you choose cards that have the same color scheme. Like, for example, for this basket, I chose cards that have more blue to them. You will need two larger ones that'll fit the larger template. And then you're going to need 12 of the smaller ones that will fit this template. Now you can use brand new Christmas cards for this or even some cardstock paper if you don't want to use Christmas cards. Okay, now you're going to start cutting out your pieces. Now the smaller piece is for the sides of the basket and the top of the basket will be the rounded part. So place the little piece on top of your card and make sure you center it over the design that you want to appear on the card. I just used a pencil to put a very faint outline around there and then I cut it out. Once you cut out all 12 of them, you're going to take two of them and you're going to glue them back to back. Put the glue in the center of the card. Don't put it on the edges because that's where you have to poke holes and do some sewing. So we don't want to put too much glue on those areas. So line it up as well as you can. And then if you have any pieces that kind of stick out or don't look even, you can just trim them. Now we're gonna poke some holes into the card. The holes will be pierced about a quarter inch from the edge of the card and about a quarter inch apart. The distance between the holes is up to you, but I find a quarter inch is a nice distance. I'm using a roll of sticky tape here just as a little platform because it has a hole in the center, but you could even try using a piece of styrofoam. That might do the trick as well. I'm using a kind of a sewing needle that's used for punch crafting. You could use a skewer or a needle, something to make holes in the paper with. So once you poke the holes all the way around, you're gonna do your stitch work. Now, I would recommend you use like a piece of yarn for this that coordinates with the color of the card. I didn't have any blue yarn in the house. I had this embroidery thread. So what I did is I actually put three strands of the embroidery thread instead of using one piece of yarn, but it would be easier with one piece of yarn. So start from the bottom, pull the yarn through all the way to the end. And I tied just a tiny little knot to keep it from going through. And just for this first hole, you're going to go through the hole again just for this first one to get it started. And before you pull it all the way, you're going to put the needle through that loop and then pull it tight. And then, and this is how you're gonna proceed for the rest of the holes. Up through the bottom, pull the yarn through, almost all the way to the end until you get that last little loop. And then go through that little loop with your needle and then pull. And what you'll see is happening is you'll get stitches with a little kind of a running stitch along the edge of the card. So up through the hole, pull it almost all the way, and then put your needle through that loop, and then pull until it's tight. Now this is actually called a blanket stitch. And what it does is you get these little stitches and then you get a line of yarn that goes along the edge of whatever you're using. Once you get the hang of it, it's super, super easy to do. So you can see how you get an edge running along there. And it looks the same on both sides. So when you're done stitching, you should have one large center piece and you should have six smaller pieces. And you're going to arrange the smaller pieces around the center, just like so. And you're going to sew them together to make your final basket. Start off with the bottom edge first. Now, if you use yarn to stitch your cards, then try to find thread that matches. In my case, because I use embroidery thread to begin with, I just use a single strand of it and it matched perfectly. 
sew the pieces together and what I did is I kind of followed the stitches that were already there and I just tried to make sure that they were kind of stitched together. You just want something that's going to keep the pieces from falling apart. So continue to go all the way around, sew all the pieces together until you get something that looks like this. Then flip the pieces up and sew those edges together to finish your basket. Once you're done, take a look at it. If there's any little gaps, you might want to go around and sew those together to make it nice and tight. And I recommend that you reinforce the top of the basket where those six pieces come together at the scalloped top edge, just to make it a little bit more sturdy. So here's a completed basket. I love the baskets that are made with all different Christmas cards. I get lovely Christmas cards sent to me every year. I don't never throw them out. I've been putting them into a special box and this way I get to enjoy them again and for years to come when I take this basket out at Christmas time. This craft idea is not new. It's been around for a really long time. As a matter of fact, my mother, who was a teacher, she's now retired. She received one of these as a gift from a student about 30 years ago or so. So you could see how you could easily fill this with goodies, put some basket wrap around it and give it to somebody as a gift. Thanks for watching and I hope you give this a try. Are you looking for more recycled Christmas card crafts? Then check out this playlist. I have several videos that show you how to make ornaments, decorations, and even a little gift box. Click on the links on your screen or on the links in the description box. Bye-bye.